So the final reunion for the Southern Charm season. This reunion, one, I'm just going to go through each individual. Shep literally basically opened up telling us that, yes, I was extremely hurt, which he should have been. Austin was a close friend and Taylor, yes, he did cheat on her. But at the end of the day, you don't expect your close friend to go behind your back to sleep with your girlfriend. And I think they did sleep together. Maybe he did not penetrate, but they did other things that are considered extremely, you know. Anyways. Um, he also gives great speeches. So I don't know why he hasn't tapped into that because Shep is like, you know, he's old money. He's going to be good till the day he dies, but he wants to find a passion. He gives great speeches and I think that should be something he should tap into. Maybe do some TED Talks and, you know, Shep is not, you know, he's a womanizer, but womanizers are still people. He could do something else with his life that, you know, doesn't involve dating women. I think that is a great career for Shep, but I digress. Craig is having a season of his life. He is happy. His money is flowing. His girlfriend is good. There's no cheating scandal. He has a girl that actually loves him on like his past relationship. So Craig is, ch he's chirping in here and there, but he's not problematic this season. Taylor, I just think she's not a good person. She really is not because she has fooled us with this. I'm a Christian little Southern girl, but we've seen that she's basically, you know, a garden tool. And she continues to try to play it down. Like she doesn't know she betrayed her best friend. Like her and Olivia were straight up best friends. And yes, um, Olivia and Austin did not have a defined relationship, but they messed together for almost a year. Was it exclusive? No, but Taylor being Olivia's best friend knew what it was and what kind of emotions Olivia had attached to the situation. So everything she's saying, she really doesn't want to take accountability. She's giving these blanket stories. And I'm happy Olivia was like, we're not going to be friends, but we could definitely be cordial. Like, I don't have to make things hard for you. They both lost their brothers this past year. So they understand kind of the pain that they're going through. And I'm, I'm really here for Olivia stating boundaries because how can I be your friend? You lied in my face continuously over and over and over. Then you're apologizing, but then... Going behind my back to be like, oh, I'm a mess with Austin to Chef. Like, girl. Then to even downplay the relationship between Olivia and Austin. That was just a mess. Everybody comes for Austin. Austin really doesn't think he did anything wrong. He felt like they're both single. He was going to take this to the grave until, I guess, JT started putting him on blast. And JT admits that he did love Taylor, but that doesn't mean he cannot also be honest. And I fear next season is probably going to be hard for JT because JT is coming up as Mr. Perfect, and I doubt that he is perfect. So we will see all his skeletons probably next season. So he should prepare himself for that. Start doing your training, mental gymnastics, and all of that. Because they will come for you, JT. But I think JT is annoying. But I love that he holds their feet to the fire. All of them. Like, even though Austin tries to be like, oh, your brown is in chef. I don't even think that. Rod, basically, I don't know. I don't know why they were there. Rod and Rodrigo. Rodrigo's bad wig. Like, dude, why? Then for him to have the audacity to be like, oh... You guys didn't tell me I had bad hair all season. Negro, this hair is horrible too. Not the shake and go wig. Get you a good lace front. Get you a stylist that can work with lace front. Like, what are we doing, sir? What are we doing? Like, Rodrigo played in my face with this hair. Then to come for Olivia for no reason. Talking about, oh, you went hard on Taylor. Of course she went hard on Taylor. She is heartbroken. Not only is she heartbroken by Austin. It's fine. Austin cheated on how we girls outside, but to cheat on how girls inside the show, laugh in my face. She lost her brother. She had reasons to be up and down. Leva was a voice of reason, but I love Vanita. When they were like, what do you think about if they hooked up or not? She's like, I'm not introducing anyone to my mom that I'm not effing. Like, we're not in preschool. These are not virgins. And she's had multiple sleepovers. What were you guys doing in sleepover? Cunnilingus? Because that is, you know. So whether... I think she's one of those girls that is like, if I get it in the butt, it doesn't count. She gives me that vibe. Like, they definitely did more. Austin is not going to have her in his house playing patty cake with her all night. Like, get out of here with that. But they're going to take it to their grave. It is what it is. Who else is on this stage? Um, yeah. So, back to the dynamics. Um... Leva basically is, they're all like saying the all the girls, Leva, Vanita, all of them are like, they're not coming for Taylor, but they want her to be honest. 
Yeah, <laughs> Madison is like, she's not doing sleepovers in my house. Girl, I hear you because we found out she's a snake. And snakes, you must chop off their heads, okay? And I don't blame her because she has proven to be not trustworthy. Like, I don't understand. She was making faces like, how dare you say that? How dare me say that? I watched you lie in your best friend's face. What are you going to do to me that I'm just a simple friend or associate at this point? Like... It's, it's crazy. And the fact that they're like, oh, we've, we've been held to the fire. When, when will forgiveness start? Like forgiveness starts when you actually are super honest, when you apologize and mean the apology. But these two people do not mean the apology. They just want the heat off of them. Then Rodrigo with his bad hair was trying to gaslight JT talking about, oh, you just wanted to make a way for you and Taylor. And JT is like, we need to bifurcate both of them, which threw Austin off because he doesn't know the definition of bifurcation. But it's just like crazy to me that they were trying to be like, oh, you try to cause problems and this and that. I'm like, two things can be true. He could love Taylor, but he could also call Austin's BS out, you know? But this season was good. I can't wait to see next season. There was no racial tensions anywhere. It was just about fun, calling bad, bad. Like, I love when a season is fun. The drama is not too heavy. So this was a good reunion for me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you very much. Bye.